Let's begin with the dynamics of combined rotation and translation. Sir, what is dynamics array? For pure rotation or analysis of hinge systems, what did I tell you? Four things. Torque about hinge equal to I about hinge into alpha. F external equal to MACM, where it will divide into two parts, A radial, A tangential. And half I omega square about hinge was the rotational kinetic energy and the total kinetic energy and energy conservation, nothing else. Similar flowchart I'm trying to develop for combined rotation and translation. So, guy number one. F external system equal to MACM. Array, that's fine. Obviously, F equal to MA to CM. You'll apply it on CM itself. So, that's fine. Second, torque equal to I alpha. About what, sir? About axis, sir. Array, what axis, Baba? What axis? The diagram on the right side top is a hinge system. Take the pin out. It's not hinged anymore. It's not hinged. So, where should I apply my torque equal to I alpha about? That is the knowledge which is detrimental right now, but instrumental if we figure out. Matlab, everything boils down to the torque equal to I alpha equation because there is no confusion in F equal to MA. That has to be applied on center of mass. But about what point should I apply torque equal to I alpha? Any, anyone, any guesses? While we are taking guesses, why don't we play an official guessing game? What's the agenda? Agenda is to acquire knowledge. Knowledge about what? About who is the axis. So let's play Con Banega Knowledgeable. Hmm? Okay? What is the best choice of axis in pure rotation? This is a warm up question for you. Warm up question. What is the best choice of axis in pure rotation? What is pure rotation, you ask? Pure rotation is the hinged system's rotation. You have four options. Passing through CM, passing through edge, any axis and passing through the hinge. Four options, right? Out of this, which options are correct? If you ask me and if anybody typed, Sir, what is the lifeline? For this question, then it's you and me. Come on, what's the answer? Chalo, for the complete experience, there are lifelines. Sir, I can understand what the phone of friend and audience poll means. What is this? What is this gear, spanner, screwdriver kind of thing? I'll explain to you. First, tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. Which is the axis for pure rotation? Sir, hinged. Good. Good. Absolutely clear, sahi jawab, passing through the hinge. The best choice for pure rotation motion is apply torque equal to I alpha about hinge. Primed up, ready, format is clear. Hmm. If the format is clear, let me change the question. For free rotation, phone a friend. How dare you phone a friend? You are in the examination hall. Do you have a phone with you? No, you don't. There is no friend, there is no phone, there is no phone a friend. So there is no lifeline. Audience poll. How dare you? You're going to ask the people around you what the answer is? You're going to ask the people around you, sir, where should I take torque to I alpha about? There is no audience poll. So what's left? What's left is work, work, work. Work it out. Think. Think. Same four options. First, you think, I don't care what is the answer. I care more. Why is the answer whatever is the answer you choose? So tell me, for combined rotation and translation motion, computer ji, batayye. Char options are there in front of all the people. All are playing con banega knowledgeable. I am curious. I request all the TAs to monitor the answer. If anybody says option A, B, C, and D, ignore their answers. Unless somebody, uh, unless somebody puts the reason out. Any access will do. Passing through edge. No choice. No choice. And passing through center of mass. Which is the best? Which is the best? option to apply torque equal to I alpha for combined rotation and translation and why. Seems like there is only one lifeline. Work. Who's going to work? This guy. 
Are you ready? Okay. If anybody has figured it out, good for you. But right now, please focus. Computer, give me a workspace to solve, please. All right, here is a workspace to solve. <clears throat> what happens is, let's say somebody applies an external force, F. Or multiple forces are acting. F is act, F1, F2, F3, blah, blah, blah. All right? So what is going to happen? What's going to happen is, there will be an acceleration A, and there will be an angular acceleration alpha. Do you agree? Center of mass will have an acceleration A and there will be an angular acceleration alpha if the body is free to move. Do you agree with this thing or not? Yeah. If there is a force acting, there will be an acceleration. Yes. What are accelerating frames of reference? Mm, Non-inertial frame of reference. Bang on. That means, if I take any point on my reference, any point of my reference, that point is non-inertial point, non-inertial frame, non-inertial reference. So, sir, uh, what about center of mass? Are even center of mass has an acceleration. So, guess what, guys? Point number one. Every point on the body is accelerating. Agreed? Hmm, agreed. Every point of the body is accelerating. There might be a point somewhere, hypothetically, which might not be accelerating, but I don't know it. If you give me a random shaped body, is every point accelerating or not? Yes, sir. Does that include center mass also? Yes, sir. So there is nothing special about center mass up till now? Yes, sir. I'll repeat. All points are accelerating, including center of mass. Yes, sir. All points present themselves as non-inertial reference up till now. Yes, sir. Agreed? Point number two. What do you do if you have a non-inertial reference? So we apply a pseudo force. Good. Where do you apply a pseudo force? So pseudo force on the body, but gone are those days. That time particle used to be the body. Now it's a rigid body. Where will you apply pseudo force? On the center of mass. Hmm. So you apply pseudo force on center of mass. Yes, sir. So when you take torque about cm, summation torque about cm, it would be summation torque external cm. Yes, sir. Plus Torque pseudo CM. Yes, sir. But isn't CM the point of application of pseudo force? Yes, sir. So if the pseudo force is passing through center of mass, then what is its torque about center of mass? If the pseudo force is passing through center of mass, then what is its torque about center of mass? C. Ah, this is nice. So you mean to say, let me get this straight, sir. So you are saying, point number one, everything including center of mass is accelerating, correct? Point number two, no matter who I choose to apply my torque equal to y alpha equation, I have to apply pseudo force. Yes, sir. So nothing special so far. Yes. Point number three, but point of application of pseudo force is center of mass. Point number four, so if you take torque equal to y alpha equation about center of mass, the pseudo force torque will become zero. So it's as good as not considering pseudo force at all while applying that equation and back to the answer. So what's the answer? The axis passing through CM. Torque equal to Y alpha, best option, not the only option. Best option is center of mass. How many of you thought about this? If you could think about it in this detail, kudos, hats off, high five. Let me bring the boys home. So, the best choice of axis was the game. For pure rotation, stationary axis, that is through hinge. For free rotation, I wish stationary axis, I will address this thing later. Stationary axis was right now, I can't see anything stationary. So, what's the next best option? Center of mass, right? Here is the flow chart for your reference. Ready everyone? Write this down. The equations which are relevant. F equal to MA. Applied on center of mass. Torque equal to I alpha. Applied about center of mass. Can you see that? Linear momentum of the system. MVCM. Linear momentum. Angular momentum. I taught you. And kinetic energy. Angular momentum. 
I omega I C M omega plus R C M cross M V C M and kinetic energy half I C U omega square plus half M V C U M square. 